Okay, good afternoon, people. We are in the housing crisis uh, game show called Monopoly. Remember, um, well, decades ago, the Monopoly board was actually called the Landlord's Game. It was, yeah, it was actually a, a pretty silly game. You sort of find out that at the end of it, one person wins, and the only way to uh, keep playing the game is to either. Yeah, the only choice is actually to actually give uh, people back their, uh, the property and the money and then you start all over again or no one's willing to play the game. So uh, these are, I'm with uh, the London renters, people who are uh, part of the uh, Lond uh, private uh, tenants in London. The problem we have is the fact that um, uh, I think the recent statistics show that people who are renting need to uh, pay something like 50% uh, of their income into rent, paying for a landlord's mortgage. And then you have uh, people like LBC who point out, who say, who keep claiming that uh, so social housing is subsidized by the taxpayer. You know, like uh, all these uh, benefits crunches they're complaining about, but then they don't actually yet point out that the uh, housing benefit does not go to the person claiming uh, who is actually living in the house, it goes to the landlord. Again, the taxpayer is paying for the landlord's mortgage. So we have people here who are... Um, yep. So, who, yeah, yeah, these are the people who are uh, going to um, having a game of Monopoly. Uh, and, uh, we're in Islington Green at the moment, so if you would like to uh, say... Uh, yes, yeah, social housing is going to become vacant in desirable areas, they will be sold off. That is correct. It's not just social housing that they're selling off. They're selling off hospitals. They're selling off... Uh, yeah, they're selling off, what, 12 uh, fire stations at the moment. So we shall see. But anyway... Um, we're joining them. It's uh, well, yes, 12 o'clock. So please, hopefully, you can actually will have fun today, and a few more people will be here. Yes. Angel is on the board. Angel is on the board. Yeah. Uh, no, they're not actually going to be. Uh, yeah, yes, tiny boxes in there. I don't want to. I don't want to use the microphone. Uh, would you like to use the microphone? Uh, uh, sorry. Okay. Anyway, I'm on uh, live stream. If uh, everyone's okay with that. I was going to say, is okay with being filmed? Having pictures taken of them. If they're not, please come and speak to us. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to try and keep this really quick because it's really cold. And when we finish, we're going to aim to go over to our first location. So first, <laughs> hello and welcome to London Rents Day of Action Against Letting Agents. I'm going to say the usual thing about how fantastic it is to see so many people. But honestly, it really is. When you find these things, <coughs> you never know how many people are going to turn up. So thank you for coming out on a freezing cold day. And I'm promising that we're going to keep this moving from now on. Um, so I'm going to try and explain really quickly two things. Firstly, why we're doing this. And secondly, what's the plan for today? So we are doing this day of action because we want to build a movement. We want to build a movement of private renters and tenants. Why? Because we feel we're ripped off, we're discriminated against, we're priced out of the areas we live in um, due to letting agents. We want affordable homes, clean, safe homes to live in and a transparent, regulated and fair method of renting, which we simply don't have. Currently, if you're a private ten tenant, it often feels like you have little choice, no voice and no support if things go wrong. If you're really screwed, who do you go to? Can you go to the council? Is there some charity that can support you? It's often really unclear and it often feels like you're in it alone. So we want to build this movement and this is a movement we want everyone to be a part of. We want it to support individuals, but also a campaign that will deal with issues together and solve problems collectively. So today is just the start of a number of actions. There's about three or four going on across London today. This action was organised um, by uh, Diggs, Hackney Renters. Woo! Uh, Tower Hamlets. And uh, Islington, Private Renters Group. And so far we've been supporting individuals, putting pressure on our local council to fulfil their duties. Uh, to private tenants and we've been working with the local MP Jeremy Corbyn to write a bill to give tenants a better deal. 
so today our main aim is to engage the public to highlight the issues that we've been talking about and i think you should have a little yellow leaflet so if you're not sure why you're here or you want some more information then grab someone with a yellow leaflet um we want we don't see the point of asking people to get involved with something if they don't get something out of it so the second aim is to have fun is to have a good time to camp things up this is the, this is our main aim so please you know get involved um, and make this as fun a day as possible so I'm not sure how many movements started in parks with people dressed as letting agents. So maybe this is the first, but it's certainly not going to be the last. Anyway, right, skipping to the plan. The plan for today is for us to visit three, or is it four now? Three. Three letting agents, all are within a short walking distance. If anybody's got any difficulties, then come and speak to us, and we can accompany you there if you think you're going to get lost. Uh, we're going to be leaving here. It says 12.30, but I have a feeling it's gone 12.30. 12.45. 45. We're going to be leaving in five <laughs> minutes. Um, I'm going to Foxen's, which is just down the road. Uh, we're going to set up, and we're straight away going to go into a quick game show, which will take... Uh, it's like a short piece of theatre where we're going to have a letting agent and some tenants trying to win a glamorous home that's just behind us. Um, this will take about five minutes, um, and the rest of you will be the audience. So please participate, boo, hiss, etc. But be quiet while other people are talking, while our performers are giving their Oscar-winning performance or whatever. <laughs> um, after that finishes, which is five minutes, Heather's going to speak, and then there'll be an opportunity for people to come forward and tell their experiences, talk about their difficulties or why they're here today. If you don't want to do it, that's fine, but we encourage as many of you as possible to come forward. Then we're also going to have um, a short game of community chants, which we're going to ask the public to take part in, but other people might want to take part in, where you uh, roll a dice and you pick a card and you see what you've won. Um, and lastly, there'll be an opportunity to write down your story and pin it on our fabulous washing line, which I think is in the grass somewhere. But here it is, here it is, the fabulous washing line. Yes, it is. Um, so again, please do write down your stories. Uh, when we're ready, we're going to push off to the next letting agent, which is about a five minute walk away or so. Um, and if people are up for it, maybe we'll have some different uh, performers or we'll repeat the whole process again. And we're expecting the whole thing to be finished about 2, 2.30, so this isn't going to be a long freezing day. Um, the meeting point is on O'Neill's pub at Upper Street, which is just up here, the blue one. I think most people are familiar with it. So um, if we get rained on too badly or if people split up, that's where we're going to meet back out. Um, we'd like to meet up afterwards and have a bit of a debrief, but most importantly, a bit of a celebration and a catch up and a chance to speak to people and talk about what we might do in the future. So please do come to that afterwards, even if it's just for a quick problem. Um, later this evening, we are heading to the George Tavern on Commercial Street to a night called Shore Leave. Uh, we've been given a password to getting cheaper. If you're interested, I'll have lots of live bands. It should be a really good night. <laughs> Uh, and if you're interested, come and have a word with us. So during the day, we've already said there's going to be lots of, I think, live streaming, videoing, filming, interviews. Ooh, interviews. Um, if anyone's got a problem with that, then please come and talk to us. <coughs> We're using these to document the day and to get further press coverage. Um, and lastly, we want today to be lots of fun. Our aim is that it's a peaceful protest. I'm sure it goes out without saying, but we ask that everyone take care of each other. Um, and that if we need to step aside to let the public get by or we're asked to move, you know, an inch to the left, we just get on with it. Um, we're here to uh, be considerate to one another and so that everyone has a good time. We're not expecting uh, the letting agents to engage with us much, surprisingly, today, uh, to be honest. I don't think they'll talk to us whatsoever. But if they do or they call the police, it's not a problem. Uh, we're not doing anything we shouldn't. This is a peaceful, static protest. Um, we have the right, and we have the right to exercise our rights. Um, we've arranged for an independent observer to be present. I don't know if they're here or not. <laughs> Maybe they're keeping quiet, who knows? <laughs> um, but I obviously don't know them. Um, but it's uh, surely for good practice, and we don't envision there being any problems. In fact, I've just spoken to our constable, Stan Wick, Chadwick even, who was very pleasant, and we had a discussion about what the new monopoly figure is. I don't know if anybody knows, but apparently a new monopoly figure has been created. And he uh, rented, lot, uh, rented lots of properties in South East London. So I don't think there'll be any problems. But if, if anybody is getting worried or wants to come and have a chat about it, just come and have a word. Um, I'd speak to myself or one of the other people that's dressed up as an estate agent like Heather. So I hope we're all going to have a fantastic day and uh, maybe that it will get a bit warmer and it won't rain. So thank you very much for coming and let's walk over to Foxton's. There's, there's a few families as well. Um, there are people, there's a leafleting team, there's a washing line team. We have the police and the uh, charms car team. 
and uh, we also would need two people who would take care of this great banner who's hopefully on lots of <laughs> pictures so maybe other two people who would take this banner and hold it um, in front of the letting agencies we really people good. Up for holding the banner brilliant yeah okay and <laughs> we have also these placards five of them and it would be good if people could take one of you maybe you, you can choose if you're fast um there's one and for other ones um so feel free if you don't have another job already <laughs> okay. any fashion accessory folks everyone grab a placard okay grab a banner okay uh, so so we'll see. Okay. So, Anna, would you be able to tell us Anna. also? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anna, so, take it, sure, hold it. Anyway, guys, thank you for uh, joining us. What I'll do is do some more. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what I'll do is I'll be following these, uh, uh, I'll be following everybody, and then hopefully we shall be having some fun. So, thank you. Uh, so I'll be back in a minute. I'll just upload this and then see if we can uh, send this off to, uh, well, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, please do. Anyway, yeah, keep following Occupy NN. That's on Twitter, or Occupy London Twitter is, as well, and then uh, you will be updated. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. You keep watching. Back in a minute. Okay, we are